Mars, kind of breaking news. Chinese rover finds liquid water on it. And this is actually salty water. Now, interestingly, Zachariah Sitchin, in his book, Lost Book of Enki, talks about the Anunnaki physically landing on Mars and, in fact, uh, ended up with an away station there. And as you see, there's a word there, Lakeshore, when one of the Anunnaki was found by the other Anum Anunnaki's, etc. Now, the reason why they don't didn't stay on Mars is because of the dust storm. Now, here we are aware of uh, a dust storm that's every three to four years. Now, there's also a thing called the spot on Mars, which has been going for a very long time. In fact, 1831 was when we first noticed this spot. Now, of course, if you go back to the Lost Book of Enki, you'll find that Sitchin says that the reason why the Anunnaki didn't go back was because a massive storm started then. So was that the storm that kept them away? I like a good conspiracy, just like this person. However, this person has been a little bit of a numpty because I did say about the two million tablets, Sumerian tablets, are they fake? Because this person says you can't trust anything uh, from ancient times. So I said, oh, are they fake? And they wrote back saying, the two, how can you tell that they're two million years old? And I said, no, you didn't read my comment. So I think this is probably why this person sort of gets them a bit wrong. And there's a bit too conspiracy. I, trust me, you, you know me, guys. I am well into the conspiracies, but this person just needs to slow down a little bit and research. So anyway, these are some of the tablets that the two millions that I'm referring to. So this person seems to believe that experts... Now, trust me, 200 years ago, before all of the continents can talk to each other via telephones and stuff like that, people were not experts back then when they was actually translating these tablets. So when you say experts translated them, you can't trust them. What about normal people that learnt the languages? This is why I call you a little bit... Our father who art in space, hallowed be thy inky, as it should actually translate now funny how god has pale skin blonde hair and beard and blue eyes in pretty much all of the old paintings now obviously there was a short supply of razor blades in heaven which is actually space because if you don't believe me go watch my videos and i prove it by fact anyway just so happens that the original god enki that predates the Bible by a thousand years. In fact, he's called the Great Lord, which is funny, he's not allowed to take the God's name in vain, but he is the God. Um, and this beard here was white, and he had lapis lazuli in between. And he was also Neptune with the white hair and the white beard. He was also Poseidon, same character, because he lived for uh, a very long time. So could God, yes, let's, let's be honest, was God Enki from Sumerian times that predate the Bible, of course. Do you know who or what the source is? This is to do with the start of the universe. Alien greys have told abductees that it's creation or source. That's what they call it. Sumerians have a thing called the creator of everything. Again, could still be the same thing as creation or source. Emerald tablets of Thoth say that it started with a thought. And again, that still could be the same thing. A thought could have been from a creator of everything. Now, my research has led me to believe that the universe started by a... basically similar to the Hadron Collider, where another universe, someone messed around with some particles and accidentally created our universe. Thus, the Big Bang. Thus, why we've got a creator of everything, which would have been the scientists, and so on. Um, so until someone tells me any different, I think there's, we're a tiny universe somewhere. Breaking news, the University College of London has said, which I've been saying all along, is that the shape of your nose is determined by what hominid species bred with Homo sapiens way back. So there's a report out now, you can go and look at it, it's on Sky News, and it's basically saying that to do with a gene is whether or not for example, here, Neanderthals bred with Homo sapiens would give us a particular shaped nose. Because when I do my lives, people say to me, well, hang on a minute, how come Eskimos, how come, you know, different people around the world have different shaped noses? And I've been saying all along, it's to do with, look, all of these bred with humans, Homo sapiens, sorry. Uh, it's Neanderthals, Denovisms, Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergus, uh, Homo florensis, etc., so once again, I'm right, as always. So feel free to watch my videos on my website because you're going to learn stuff here before you, the scientists even know. Outrohistory.co.uk 
Did anyone see the show In Search of Aliens with Giorgio talking about elongated skulls in Malta, where they went to the museum? Well, I have actually got a follow-up to that, which has got some fantastic information that wasn't shown in that show. And it's on my Patreon page, and it's under the video called Egypt's Elongated Skulls. So if anyone wants to watch that, just go to patreon.com forward slash outro history and look for that one. Obviously, there's loads more videos I've got, but that was the one to do with his research. <laughs>